Dwarves are traditionally known for three things. Sprinting abilities, distinctive personalities, and magnificent beards. But they're also heavily exploited in the space mining industry. Now I bet you didn't know that, did you? Welcome to Taking It Offline, the series where I recommend games for busy people. My name is Ian, and today I'm recommending Deep Rock Galactic for people who like mining, dwarves, and outer space. In Deep Rock Galactic, you will take on the role of a contracted space dwarf. Working for the interplanetary megacorporation Deep Rock Galactic, you will be dispatched to alien planets to explore mysterious caves, dig up minerals, and then return those collections back to the company unscathed. As a reward, you will be paid handsomely in money that can be redeemed only at the company store. Although it doesn't warrant any hazard pay, you should know that the aforementioned explorations are not without their dangers. You see, it turns out that these planets have life forms that don't exactly take kindly to intruders marching in, blasting holes, and requisitioning gold. But the work order says you must, and so you must. Thankfully, you're equipped with a number of gadgets that can be used to ensure that your career at the Deep Rock Galactic Mining Company does not end in an unpaid workers' comp claim. Busy people will appreciate Deep Rock Galactic's hub-and-spokes design mentality. Upon loading up the game, you'll take control of your dwarf inside of a space rig, one of the company's illustrious orbital bases of operations. In the rig, you can select one of four classes, change up your loadout, customize your dwarf, and pick up perks as well as participate in a slew of minigames and shenanigans. You also get to select your next mission, of which there are seven distinct types. Examples include your cut and dry mining, hunting aliens, or salvaging broken machinery from past expeditions of Deep Rock Galactic employees that weren't as fortunate as you. After you select your task, hop into the drop pod and you are on your way. Each mission takes somewhere in the ballpark of a half hour and is action packed from the get go. There's rarely a dull moment as you will need to navigate around environmental hazards and defend yourself from periodic waves of enemy aliens. All of this should be music to the ears of any busy person looking for an exciting, bite sized space outing. It provides just enough variety between sessions without overloading the player with endless choices. Deep Rock Galactic is a romp. It's chaotic, it's goofy, and it's fun, which is a relief after stressful days of working, studying, or caregiving. The voice acting is campy and ridiculous, which is fitting for the fact that, you know, you're playing as space dwarves mining space rocks and fighting space aliens. The mechanics are simple, each class has four items, a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, two support tools, and a huckable. The two weapons are naturally used for killing aliens, while the support tools can range from zip lines to sentry turrets and provide a lot of room for you to play how you want to play. Your huckables are usually used for killing, but they can also be used for distracting, slowing, shielding, or otherwise derailing your enemy's offensive. As a busy person, you might not be interested in heavy narrative, mechanical complexity, or brain-busting puzzles. If that's the case, then you'll be able to start climbing the corporate ladder by shooting, climbing, and mining for Deep Rock Galactic. My last reason for recommending Deep Rock Galactic is a little bit different than my normal video, and it's the multiplayer. You see, it's simple to load up with three other friends and play together. It's uncommon that I recommend a game for its multiplayer because it can be so difficult for busy people to find time to link up. But Deep Rock Galactic allows you and your friends to play together and gain levels, as well as leveling yourself offline. So, if your friends had a session and played a bunch and leveled up or anything, but you were too busy for one reason or another, you can put in some solo time and match their level, meaning that you'll never get left behind. Now, I won't shy away from the fact that the game was clearly designed with multiplayer in mind. Some of the objectives are just more easily accomplished with associates. However, if you aren't able to link up with friends, the game gives you a personal drone that floats around, shoots missiles and rockets, can mine things, just generally acts as your assistant. Deep Rock Galactic is not the most complex game I've recommended on this channel. It's a game that I'm recommending because it's plain old fun. There's hardly a rhyme or reason for why you're in alien caves mining space loot, other than because some guy told you to and also he's paying you. Which is why a lot of us do what we do, honestly. I love being able to hop on, quickly get into a dark cave and start exploring and firing my guns. The random cave design means that I never run into the same cave twice, so there's always something new. Deep Rock Galactic is a fun and easy game that can be played in short or long sittings thanks to its level based design. Busy people will enjoy that it's easy to pick up and play in a short amount of time as well as remember how to play if they've been gone for a while. Additionally, it's a great co-op game to play with friends as the chaos always leads to laughing and yelling. For these reasons, I'm giving Deep Rock Galactic 5 Dwarven Beards out of 5 Dwarven Beards. Highly recommended.